Hello everyone, Martin Hazy, Lord Mayor of Adelaide. I'm here in North Adelaide on the corner of Tent Street and O'Connell Street at the former La Cornu site located at 88 O'Connell Street. In February this year, City Council settled on the purchase of this land. Now, what we did is that we broke the deadlock. We broke a 29 year deadlock of inactivity on this site. This in fact was market failure. There had been several owners, there had been several planning applications which had been approved but had lapsed. Council stepped in on behalf of the community to purchase the land with one sole intent, to ensure that we enable in a timely manner a development which suits O'Connell Street and uplifts O'Connell Street. A development which benefits all of North Adelaide on behalf of the community. In investigating the purchase of 88 O'Connell Street, City Council naturally looked at every option available to it. We looked at compulsory acquisition. Putting it simply, we were unable to do so. The legislation did not enable City Council to compulsorily acquire this site. Instead, through a competitive process, we went into a direct negotiation with the former owner of this land, right here at 88 O'Connell Street. We were successful and we did that in partnership with the State Government of South Australia. Since completing the due diligence and then settling on the purchase of the land in February this year, City Council has been moving with a great sense of urgency. The first thing we did is that we removed the fences, we opened up the land and we laid out the grass. That alone was instrumental in making a profound change right here for O'Connell Street. Secondly, we've held five community engagement sessions right across North Adelaide to engage with our residential, business and commercial property owners to listen to their views about what would be a good development and importantly what would be an inappropriate development outcome for this site. Most recently we have endorsed a set of 14 guiding principles in our council chamber which now enables our CEO to go out to an expression of interest process to work with the private sector to receive their input into how this site can be developed. There are 14 guiding principles, and those guiding principles are a direct result of community input. So I'd just like to thank our residential community right here in North Adelaide. I'd like to thank our business and our commercial property owning communities also, because it was truly the community that helped us shape those 14 guiding principles. Now they're many and varied, but importantly they include car parking, plentiful car parking in a future development, and certainly preferably underground car parking mixed use, setbacks. Now having 12 metre setbacks on all four street frontages, and that was one of the guiding principles, will inform a development which suits O'Connell Street. Eight storeys, community use, and also some green space. So there are 14 guiding principles, they're all very important, and they will go a long way towards ensuring we get a highly appropriate development right here at 88 O'Connell Street. Now that Council has approved the guiding principles, the CEO and the administration team working with a commercial real estate agency will go out for an expression of interest. Now this will go out locally, nationally and possibly also internationally. But it is designed to attract a development partner to make sure that they deliver, on behalf of our community, a development which really complements O'Connell Street and creates greater value for the community right here in North Adelaide. This term of council has approved the 14 guiding principles. The CEO will now work with a commercial real estate agency to bring about an expression of interest process. But it will in fact be the next term of council in 2019 that will be approving a development outcome for 88 O'Connell Street. And there are generally three options ahead of us. One is to sell the land to a development group. Two is to partner with a development group to deliver a development that really suits O'Connell Street. Or three is for council to do the development ourselves. Personally, I don't favour that outcome because I don't believe that's our core business. But nonetheless, this will all be determined early next year by the next term of council.
Permanent car parking as part of a future development is an absolute must. And there must be plentiful car parking as part of a future development. But then we've got the interim measures. Now, subject to some planning constraints, which we do need to overcome, I personally believe that having some temporary car parking on this site has great merit because it will support the traders of O'Connell Street, those many small businesses and their families who depend upon this street for their livelihood. In closing, I'd like to thank the community of North Adelaide and the wider city of Adelaide. We negotiated to buy this site on your behalf. We've brought down the fences, we've laid out the lawn, we've had several community activations and we will have many more. We've listened to your views, we've built the guiding principles and now we go out for an expression of interest. We will deliver. We will deliver a development of which you can be truly proud. Thanks again. Bye for now.